talk about an explosive start, Short Fuse is back again with new updates that'll make you realize that Short Fuse does in fact exist. I'm Charles and this month we made changes that refines our core gameplay. We're just about to set off on the next big frontier, but we wanted to make sure that our base was nice and polished to build off from. But anyway, let's start things off with a bang. We've added a new indicator to bombs just before they explode. When the exclamation marks appear, you know you're in trouble. Sparks will run down each defusible wire to indicate that the bomb is just about to explode, and they'll also let you know which wires you need to click, which should make last second saves feel way more impactful. To get this done, we're using the Unity Visual Effects package as well as some custom animations. For the spark itself, we actually have quite a few different variations. One directly animates the spray, while the others utilize scale and rotation. You can see both of them in these clips. Which one do you like more? The visual effect itself was the easy part. Unfortunately, we've lost most of the splines for the wires throughout early development, so I had to go through and remake all of them across each bomb. On the bright side, this was a perfect excuse to give the new wires another look and fix some of the more out of place wires. Some bombs stayed mostly the same, like the potato, while others, like the flower bouquet, have a new identity. Playing through it again, I think the new wires are way more fun to find and click now than before. Especially since our knowledge about what makes a good wire has increased exponentially since we first started on short fuse. Luckily, we have all the wire splines now, so any future changes should be super easy. Hopefully. Well, in the background at least, I've created a few new tools that make saving the wires as prefabs automatic, which would speed up some of our iteration time. And speaking about bombs, Leon has continued our unified bomb project with the new intercom. I'm Leon. I work on the CDRN and programming for our game. I recreated the intercom and the water bottle bomb in Blender, adding them more details and making them look cooler. Want to know how I made this bumpy surface? Let me show you real quick. Shift, Ctrl, B, and now you can do something cool with that. The next feature I'm working on is Talk Bomb, kind of bomb that might contain hidden wires. Getting prepared to snip more wires when you think you've snipped the last one. For a while now, we've wanted an on-screen character for short fuse to add more personality than just the voices over the intercom. It would also guide the player through the tutorial and the rest of the game. We decided that this character would be the computer that appears on your desk to give you upgrades or items to buy, so it's my job to update the model and give it more ways to express itself. To start, I modeled a boxy 80s era computer, then added little details like buttons and a floppy disk drive. Then I gave him Dr. Octopus style arms so they could move freely without being too organic looking. It was really cool making my first character with procedural workflow, but it was also my first time exporting something with these features, so I had to clear a lot of errors. But, I learned about a file type called Alembic that allows me to bake the data of my procedural arms per frame and export it as an animation. So now the computer character is finally in Unity and ready to be worked into the game. The Shortfuse devlog train will be continued next month. Maybe consider purchasing Shortfuse on Steam if you liked it. But until then, we've got even more to share each and every week through our shorts. And also, let us know what you think about this style of devlog too. Do you prefer more technical details or general overviews? Anyways, thanks for watching and see you next time.